engagement and facilitating that sense of community and that does spill over into the way that we engage and communicate with students via digital and social media so it is really really important for us to be able to utilize different networks and different social media accounts and platforms in order to engage with not only our current students but also prospective students and our university alumni um, so I've put together a quick presentation here, but what I'll just start on first is just a look, a look at the broad reasons why digital and social media use is so important in the higher education, section, in, in this higher education sector. Um, there is a growing preference for uh, using new technologies, so in a survey um, conducted by Ofcom's Media Use and Attitudes in 2014, they found that three quarters of those aged between 16 and 24 use social media platforms for approximately one and a half hours per day. So that sort of age bracket is really keyed for targeting prospective students, but also maybe mature students that are looking at coming to university. And it does have a huge role to play in influencing universe, um, students' decisions in what universities to come to. So they found that 53% of prospective students looking at um, where to come to university will look for online resources in order to make decisions about where they are going to go. And 13% of them consider that an essential um, factor in in finding out information about their university. So that does, so whilst we do have offline communications like our prospectuses and other printed material, offline communications are so, um, online communications are so much more readily accessible. And as long as we have our um, information on our web pages and on social media up to date, that can hugely influence where students decide to come to university. Um, it allows us to make communications with our university alumni, but it's also an opportunity to use technologies to our advantage, so we might as well um, use that to our advantage as it's a real opportunity for us to sort of present ourselves as a university or as an institution that are digitally skilled. Um, a lot of students nowadays are quite social media and digitally savvy, so we kind of almost need to match that in order to present ourselves as current, as sort of trendy and in line with all of our branding. So recently at Kiel we have experimented with loads of different things and that is through trial and error. There are things for us that don't work but there are certainly things that do. Um, so we've experimented with 360 degree cameras at our open days that gives um, prospective students and their parents an opportunity to go online and see 360 room views of our university of accommodation of the campus and the other facilities across campus there. Um, as well as Snapchat, um, we have live chats, virtual open days where members of staff will be responding to student queries via a computer. Um, they can take sort of, they can view sort of online sort of talks and participate in sort of forums to sort of um, engage with members of staff and that, that plays a really key role in those that can't necessarily get to the campus so they can experience what Kiel's like from a distance. Um, we also use a huge range of videos to pre present information to students, and I believe Alison will be showing one of those. Are you not? Mm -hmm. Not the mentors one. Oh, we do have. <laughs> I thought we were, were going to include the videos for, no. some, for some reason, but yeah, in student services, um, we have been using a few videos to sort of um, celebrate the work that we do, whether that's in our mentor scheme or the resident support assistance, but also present those to students as well prior, prior to coming to university, sort of um, tutorial videos on what do electives mean and all that sort of jargon busting um, information that students sort of worry about before they come to university. If we can find a time and I could just play we could, later yeah. on, on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I can play them whilst we're all sort of engaging in activity. Yeah. Um, so more specifically, let's look at um, what we have changed in Kiel Student Services. So we updated our digital and social media presence across a range of platforms. So namely Facebook and Twitter, which I think we can all sort of commonly agree are going to be the most used um, social media platforms that uh, students will use. But we condense the number of individual accounts for different teams and services. So rather than resident support having a separate Twitter feed, rather than the welfare team having a separate Twitter feed, it's all just come under one bracket of Keel student support. Um, so then that way we know that we can have one dedicated person that can run these accounts and we're not having to sort of let the sort of engagement or remembering to update these accounts sort of fall to the wayside. Um, we reworked our web pages to make them a lot more compact, clear and easier to navigate. I'm not too sure if whether any of you have had an opportunity to look at our web pages, but they are now organised by issue rather than sort of departments. So when a student is looking at our Kiel Student Services web pages, 
things are organised by whether they're having money issues, whether they're having personal or family problems, um, whether they're a mature student rather than, oh, uh, so I need to go see the money and welfare team because not a lot of students know what departments or what teams are the most useful to get the support that they need, um, whilst we might take that for granted and just assume that they know where they're going. So the web pages are a lot more easier to navigate for those issues. And we use digital, digital communications for a huge range of um, purposes. So we promote the different services that student services provide across the year. So or everything from pre-arrival events to orientation and induction. So it's an opportunity for us to celebrate the campus and student life. Um, we engage with other teams across the campus and external organisations. Um, whether that's just sort of by retweeting or sort of being, making posts about them and things. Um, so we have a targeted focus throughout the year, so like we said, pre-arrival, welcome and induction. Over the vacation period, we, we want to let students know that what, what is open, what facilities they can um, access over the vacation period should they be staying on campus, but also any events that the international student support team run as part of their encounter programme over the vacation period. But we also will promote all the campaigns surrounding sort of Exam Plus, um, but also other wider news um, such as major international issues. So like I said earlier when we were on our campus tour in response to the shootings in Orlando, we re-posted um, what the chapel had sort of promoted about this sort of quiet space in the chapel just to make sure that our reach on the Keele campus was a lot further um, and made sure that all students can sort of readily access that information online. It's just an opportunity as well for us to share good practice with Keele colleagues and beyond. Um, whilst some faculties and certain schools will maintain their own Facebook pages or Twitter accounts, um, we found, we, we, we're finding that because Keele Student Services is that one-stop shop that also extends online as well. So a lot of students will try and find information there, but we may have to redirect them to other social media or digital accounts if a certain school may be able to get back to their query a lot, more, a lot sooner. I've just got some examples here of how other universities are using social and digital media in, in their schools. So um, the University of Leeds, um, a lecturer there used an in-lecture voting system um, embedded into his lecture slides where students were given the opportunity to tweet answers to questions um, directly to his Twitter handle and it gives students a sense of immediate involvement and generates sort of question and discussion opportunities. This information was taken from the Joint Information Systems Committee who um, held a panel to decide on who the biggest social media influencers were across um, UK universities. So another example is at Leeds Trinity, they use social media to partner students with charity and voluntary organisations who need social media help. So that provides students with an opportunity for work experience um, to get involved with charities and organisations and, and do good for the local community. Um, Bournemouth University now live stream their events through Periscope. Um, whether that's their lectures or um, open days and things like that. So they also create Spotify playlists for study um, and convey unique higher education information on BuzzFeed. So there are so many different platforms that a lot of UK institutions and we have experimented with um, and some work and some don't. Um, I think one that we've sort of, we, tr we tried to sort of play around with, with was Pinterest. Um, but we found that, that that doesn't sort of get that much reach or engagement as things like Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram, things like that. I've just got some statistics here um, from Twitter. So we managed to reach back to a time period from October to December. This is 2013. Um, so our tweets reached zero impressions, and impressions is um, our sort of reach. Um, so they were reaching nobody over a 91 day period um, so and we were tweeting what we thought was the right sort of thing about come to see us in the Chancellor's Exhibition Suite to find out more about what we do on an open day do you do you want to know more about student funding and the impressions were very limited where it says we reached zero people we were only reaching between six and twenty people um, and not many students were engaged with that so whilst we thought we were probably doing the right thing um, we didn't have a dedicated contact who was able to sort of make sure that we were posting regularly and post, making sure that we were reaching people on a daily basis. So to, uh, approximately two years ago now, we hired a graduate assistant who took on condensing all the social media accounts um, and engaging with students more 
on online platforms. So from the same period from October 1st to December 30th, 30th in 2014, our reach was 113,000. Um, so that was when we took on Jodie, who has sadly left last week. Um, there was a digital media, digital media graduate role. And we started reaching out to students using a, a, a sort of a different sort of communication tone. We were sort of a lot more relaxed, a lot more conversational, um, rather than sort of tweeting these sort of instructive things, saying, come here, come there. It's, it's more sort of an invitation rather than an instruction. So, and a lot of them, a lot of our posts were then sort of looking at um, promoting our campaigns as well. Um, so, as well as our like drop-ins, um, and we were also engaging the Keele community with questions such as, what's your favourite thing about Keele University? Hashtag love Keel. And that engages our social media community to get involved with that, and it generates a lot of content and discussion around those sort of things. In the same period from October 1st to December 30th in 2015, we received similar sort of impressions as well, with 102,000 impressions. Um, and again, we were talking about similar sort of things about it's na celebrating its National Care Leavers Week with sort of information about care leavers um, and also engaging students with which of these issue issues affect you the most at university. So asking your readers questions about what their experiences with university or their studies is really key in generating a conversation online and mm -hmm. offline as well. Here's just a few examples from across the year. So, like I said, we've made our web pages sort of more sort of issue related, such as money, academic related stuff, um, support and well-being, so they can navigate the web pages that way. Um, over Keel Welcome, we use the hashtag Keel 